you know, so in this video, I'm going to talk briefly about the importance of spacing because I don't think guys or gals are being taught the importance of how what's uh, the importance of what spacing is. You know, because again, we have length of shaft, so this shaft is long. Now I just have a 58 degree wedge here, but it still has length, and it's this length of shaft that we have to maintain off the ball. It's called maintaining space, and the only way you can maintain space is to keep the cup and the lead wrist nice and firm, okay, without fanning it open and getting that club tracking to the inside too soon. So when we talk about spacing, we're talking about length of shaft. And of course, as your clubs get longer, as you get to a driver, you really gotta have spacing, okay, so you can, you know, have the, the clearance to come back through. So, I mean, you could have a average grip, you know, maybe an average setup, but we want to make sure that we have enough spacing here so the so the club can return through okay if i if i get stuck i wouldn't be able to hit through the ball so again we need the spacing here to hit through the ball and so what happens is that takes a lot of effort out of our swing a lot of i guess unwanted motion when we have the right the right spacing and then the, the wrist hinge on the width and then you just basically hit down through the ball by exchanging your shoulders. So it's here, shoulder exchange, and the ball just gets in the air. So again, spacing and width, I think, is probably one of the lost components of golf instruction. And then when you have spacing and width, then that's when you can what? That's when you can load the lead leg. That's when you can load the, the left side for right-handed golfers, build weight on the lead leg, build pressure on, the, on that trail hip, now you're centered, and now the shoulder exchange now just becomes what? It just becomes a byproduct of having your swing fundamentally sound. Okay, hope that helps. Talk to you soon.